never would I have ever would have thought would I have to now put somebody on that list. Keemstar. When I found out why he was trending this morning, I looked down and, or I most likely would. Yeah, I went down, I scrolled down earlier, and I saw that one of these tweets pop up and said, me, a gender fluid, non-binary, non-binary person, watching Keen make fun of people for using several pronouns and harassing minors. And in the text, in the picture, it says softly, "Don't." And then I look down, and I see this. A horrible tweet he made. I really don't understand this young Jerry, this younger generation. Why would anybody put their pronouns into Twitter bio? The entire point of having a pronoun is to be offended when someone calls you the wrong pronoun. So why give people the answer? One of two. And I'm guessing Kingstar has been ratioed for the past couple of hours since he made that stupid tweet. Uh, I mean, this is just wild. This is just wild. And then this person quote treats. I hate Twitter honestly because of people like her. I can't tell who she is joking or is seriously this stupid. Everyone has pronouns scheme. Shut up. I think solely meant people like him. But I get what he's trying to say. <clears throat> anyway, everybody has been ratio team star over this. And I'm guessing it's just a wonderful thing that team star. Is now gonna be on a naughty list. After trying to plot a plan to get rid of Pyrocynical, I just I decided that he should be on that list for obvious reasons. Oh, and uh, he voted for the 45th guy in the office. And the 45th guy who's still in the office is going to be out of the office by January 20th, 2021. So that would be a big present for America as we finally move forward together as a country. Now I ask for a game starter. It's, it's clear that King Star will never always have a good heart when he questions things that are appear to be controversial. And now, now we're at a point in 2020 where King Star says a lot of stupidest shit all time. And frankly, I'm glad he got ratioed. I mean, just to end of the year two. So. Now 
and this person says, who keeps letting this dipshit have access to an internet connection? And then if we go to Keem's quote tweet, it says, I don't really know why you're coming at me concerning the fact that your mouth had to go with a Ouija board to attempt to connect with your dead brain. Step one, talk shit to someone bigger on Twitter. Step two, when they talk shit back, they fit them. Step three, when getting criticism for actually starting it, act like you understand and you're taking accountability, but then play the victim again harder. Yeah, I can see why he is trending this morning at 7 a.m. It's kind of sad, really. And Forbes, not found, tweeted, Why are you saving pictures of feet online? Aren't you like 40? Seems kind of weird. She replies back, um, A.O. Imagine trying to roast me for wearing a mask. And then, there, here are the ratio tweets on this one. to this W. Okay. You still lost. This person tweets, you know, it's a good holiday season when you see Keemstar get ratioed on every single tweet in this fucking thread. Then the other person replies, it's kind of funny how he tries to go even further with his passion of Eddie, but Eddie doesn't, clearly doesn't give a shit, and Keem is too thick scold to notice. And yes, we are just realizing how fucking annoying Keemstar is. It's the nature of why he's only annoying. And it seems, and it seems that every year he, he makes stupid statements like this, which can obviously make things worse for him. And that's when some people apply to Keemstar. Like Ethan, who said, Damn dude, you really you really have nothing going on, huh? LMAO. And then Keemstar just uh, copy paste the same tweet, which is the most immature way to handle a situation like this. Gus tweeted. Ha ha ha, what the heck you do? This is so random, are you just bored right now? It's Christmas Eve Eve, you have to have something better to do, ha ha. Well, if it's Christmas Eve, the star said, and there's something better to do, why are you tweeting me? If there's something better to do, why is anyone reading this tweet right now? If there's something better to do, why... If there's something better to do, why are you reading this tweet right now? Keemstar. The reason why we're all reading this tweet is because you tweet it. That's the whole point. When you tweet something stupid, we all have to come and look at your tweets and then tweet back. That's how Twitter works. Anyway, like, this is one of your most stupidest statements of all time, Keemstar. And you're almost 39 years old. You'll be 39 years this year. Please, grow up. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Little Pump puts in a middle blast saying he is lame and that no one listens to his music. Well, actually. Endgame has done a lot of things. For all of us. And there are fans who are actual fans of the singer himself. And the fact that you will have had to come out, comment, and then them for saying that he's irrelevant and nobody listens to his old ass music. Or old ass in general shows that you're just a stock up rich snobby jackass, and that's why you deserve to be in this year's list. Let me see what I gotta say because you look stupid. supported Trump and then did not actually register to vote. You still got a lot to fucking learn, Mr. Know it all, Gazzy Garcia. I mean, nobody wants to listen to your fucking music. You lame turd. Fuck up on bullshit today, I'm back on my fuck shit. Nobody wants to listen to, to your shit anymore after what you did this year, at least. I mean, many people have roasted, have roasted you, too. Little Pump can only wish to have a career as long as time is. Well, you fall off in a year. I mean, yeah, exactly. Adam has been doing this for how long was it? 20 years, 25 years, something like that. And Little Pump has been doing it for Four, three, five years. Little Pump is not relevant enough as LM. NM is more relevant. To put it in that terms, his songs are way 100% better than Little Pump's. Yeah, Little Pump, I am calling you out because you are lame -o. Lame -o, lame -o, lame -o. You're really lame because you're trying to put, you're trying to do like this anime when, when we haven't forgot that you were irrelevant when you were trying to suck off to Donald Trump's fucking dick last month because everybody forgot about it. And that is the truth. Sorry, Lil Pump, but you... Well, I'll let Tenta tell you where you should go, because you do not deserve to be getting presents this year. Like, really. Oh, oh, oh! I hear that 
is the two somebodies are gonna be on a non USDC. I mean, really? Keen, sir. Really? What in a name what are you doing? to get on my good side, Keen. Because you failed. You failed to get on my good side. I'm not gonna treat shit like this. How dare you, mister. Right before tomorrow, too. How dare you. This is just going to put you on a naughty list. Bad King Star. Bad. Bad King. As, as for internet. As for Little Pump. Jesse Garcia. You. Good to also be on a naughty list. Because of your antics. 
I don't think you called out an M and M like that. Makes you a fool. Comparing to an M, yeah, it's twenty-two point eight million followers on Twitter. And comparing to you, a Trump supporter, you only have 1.1 million. And you still have these. Dumbass Trump pictures. You didn't delete those. You wanted to support the president after the fact that you didn't even register to vote. That's how dumb you are, kid. Until you get our respect. Until you get everyone to expect that, you don't have the right to call out on anyone. How about you change your ways? Yeah, see? You need to change your ways right now. Because at this point, you're just a fool who's making fun of himself. To the entire world. You don't have the number of of followers or likes other than N and M who has plenty more than you right here. This punk little hump, you're gonna be on the naughty list too. So enjoy life. Getting a call on your stocking for Christmas. Happy holidays!